a while for them to mess up and, and God still specifically kept them aside and still has them as his chosen. That's good. Um, David's son. That's good. I'm the son of David. David was the mighty king. Don't he, do it. Don't he, do it. He, he slayed yes, sir. any and every giant that an obstacle that came in front of him. Even yeah. before he got to the giant, he was tackling lions and tigers and come bears. On, come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on. David decided to use this smooth stone, this small smooth stone, because he realized the significance of being small yeah. is mighty. Come on. The doors of the church is open. That's 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 good. Since since you went that route, uh, I, I think it is um, the only purpose that we explore it. David. David is a little boy. But he finds himself in a big battle. Mm -hmm. now, now, we've all been in this place before. You've been small, but put up to do big stuff. Right. And I think of many times that, that God gives you a name as big as David's son. And you got to know that the word over your life is that every giant that comes, you will defeat it. So you'll find yourself in this walk facing battles that are bigger than you. But just like David, you'll find yourself in front being the first one to defeat it. Not out of like gloat or clout for me, but because I had to lead the people behind me and show them this is how you fight. So don't be afraid of being the first to do it in this season. And notice nobody could advise David. Right. That there's some advice that sounds good. It won't be for you. That there's some people who may have done war before, but don't take their advice because they've never faced what you're facing. Your fight's not my fight. What God has put you on, what's standing in front of you, is difficult for you because you're the first one to go through. But know that God already placed inside of you everything in your smallness that you're big enough to defeat it. So don't, don't be afraid of it, right? You'll see battles pop up. And nobody will have advice for you. That's okay. You'll still defeat it. Went to battle, right? To feed his brothers mm -hmm. who are soldiers, who were trained, right? Who were qualified for war, but they're afraid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he, he looks at them and it's like, but you're trained. Know that all of your training can't prepare you for this. Right. The battle that stands in front of you, nobody could prepare you for. Now, I, I know quite a bit of stuff about business. I know quite a bit of stuff about money. I know quite a bit of stuff about being a dad. I know quite a bit of stuff about being a believer. What you're about to walk into, the amounts, I can't advise you on because I've never seen it. I can't advise you on what to do with the apartment complex because I've never, I've lived in an apartment. I may have dreamed of buying one. But what you're about to hold in your hand, I can't advise you because I've never seen it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you can be standing in front of it. But if they've never defeated it, then they can't tell you how to win this battle. And I think that's only self-affirmation for you to say God brought me through. So you can't praise Jeremiah. You can't praise mom and dad. You can't praise anybody connected to you because they weren't there to help you. They was just holding back behind you. Mm. And then when David stood up, he's talking about defeating the giant, but he's talking to Saul. You said, we don't know how big the animals were, right? Now, David shows up as you would highlight a little boy, right? Now, now the verse says that he is a shepherd's boy. He's not the shepherd. He, he's the shepherd's boy. That, that's not a shepherd in training. He just hangs out on the field with the shepherd, which is why he can leave. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the lambs and stuff, they don't be killed. Now, he said that he slayed, right? A lion and a bear. It never said that it came to attack him. It didn't even say he was fighting with it. And I don't know how big a lion or a bear in his eyes, because he's tiny now, was. See, I, I know that you were little, 
but it doesn't discount the battle that you had to go through at home because you were small. And this this is for anybody who's ever been in that place, a, a place to be like, I know I was 10, but I know what happened to me. I, 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 I know that I wore the short skirt, but I know what happened to me. And you, you can't let folk take your battle away from you because you were a baby. You, you, you got to know that that you were big enough then to fight it and it didn't kill you. So when you come here and folk doubt it, you're big enough now to still speak against what they tried to do to you. It, it's the same thing just in reverse. Well, I'm not small, I'm bigger, but what stands in front of me tries to intimidate me by screaming over me, but he keeps his composure and speaks to the king. It it, it don't matter what they say is due. It don't matter how they say you're through. It don't matter who wanna walk out or leave you. You just stay speaking to the king. You, you, You stay speaking to the king about what's in front of you that scares you. It didn't say he wasn't afraid. It says he was asking them, why are y'all afraid? I know why I'm scared. Because it's bigger than me. But y'all are trained. I I know why I already feel defeated before I step out on the field. But why are y'all over here cowarding? I know why I should be afraid. But if people who are stronger than me are more scary than me, then somebody has to step up to it. And a lot of the times, it's not going to be them. That's going to be you. Can you step up and defend the faith? Because he didn't care about him offending his brothers. He cared about you offended our faith. Mm -hmm. You don't talk about God like that. Now, I know we play about a lot of stuff. But one thing that will get anybody straight on real quick is faith. You 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 ain't just gonna doubt him and say he don't exist. I don't, I don't, we, we can't even speak in hypothetical because I know that it's real. You don't have to be talking to me. If you say it around me, it's allow me to lay down for you and, and show you battles I shouldn't have came through. But I rose to stand up today to tell any Goliath that, that God is greater than, God is greater than you, the king, than them folk behind me. He's greater in me too, that I'm able to stand with no fear. And then he stands up and doesn't say anything to Goliath. He says nothing to him, right? But Goliath starts running. That's where he made the mistake. He's talking to his brothers, right? Talk to your brothers. He's talking to the king, talk to God, right? Don't say anything, right? Just stand up fearlessly in front of it. He never said, I'm going to run to you. I'm going to kill you. He didn't say anything to Goliath at all until Goliath starts. Coming running. this way. Now, I don't take too kindly to threats. Yeah. Especially threats against my family. Yeah. You coming over here. I'm not worried about you coming over here, running over here, doing anything to me. But I got my family over here. Come on, come, come on, come on, come on, come on, son. Come so now on. that you running over in this general vicinity, I, I forget that I'm over here and I start realizing that I got my big brothers in here, over here. I got my king over here. That's good. I got That's women good. and children. I have my faith, my family, my God over here and, and, and you pose it a threat. Come on, come on. I will cut your oh, head off. I will cut you from this earth. You have no idea what you're up against. As it continues to hurl at him, hearts beating, adrenaline's rushing. Only thing he knows to do is what he's always done: is play with my slingshot and these stones I have in my pocket. I've been hunting rabbits. I've been bringing home food because you know uh, my dad he tends to the cattle, the sheep. Sometimes he's out working late. He don't have the time, the energy, or the effort to bring home food. So with what God gave me, I can provide. I don't want to bother my mom, so I use these tools in order to take care of my mom, my dad, my brothers. They're friends. That's why I'm here to bring food. Because that's that's what my job was until God seemed fit to turn me into his mighty hand.